In 2025 something game-changing is brewing behind Koenigsegg's closed doors, and it's far more than just another incremental upgrade. No one else can do what we're doing. If you want this, you simply can't get it anywhere else. That quiet confidence turned into industry whispers when words like new engine, wipe the floor, and electric cars started swirling, sparked by a cryptic statement from the CEO himself. We never stopped developing it because it gives enormous freedom to the combustion engine. No dramatic unveilings, no viral teasers, just a deliberate under-the-radar move that could flip everything we thought we knew about the future of high performance. If you think the electric vehicle race is over, think again. Koenigsegg might be on the verge of doing the impossible, and the rest of the world has no idea what's coming. From day one, Koenigsegg refused to chase industry trends. While big manufacturers poured billions into massive engineering teams and polished branding to shave milliseconds off lap times, Christian von Koenigsegg and his small crew were quietly crafting street-legal rockets in a modest workshop in Angelholm, Sweden. No flashy ad campaigns, no rich heritage to lean on, just a single uncompromising goal, to build the fastest, most revolutionary cars on earth and prove that a small, fiercely independent brand could out-engineer the automotive giants. Their first creation, the CC8S, fired the opening shot, then came the CCR, briefly crowned the world's fastest production car, but it was the Ajera RS that forced the entire industry to take notice. In 2017, the Ajera RS obliterated the production car speed record, clocking in at 277.9 miles per hour effortlessly. It didn't just edge past the competition, it made them look outdated overnight. While rival brands obsessed over perfecting traction control, Koenigsegg was out there rewriting the laws of physics. But this obsession with speed was never just about straight-line performance. Every detail, from the monocoque tub to the triplex suspension, reflected a philosophy. Everything must serve performance, and anything that doesn't goes. No fluff, no gimmicks, just raw engineering. And that's what separates Koenigsegg. It's not just about horsepower, it's about control, balance, ingenuity. Then came the Regera a car that didn't even have a traditional gearbox. Koenigsegg called it Direct Drive, a revolutionary setup that eliminated the need for gear changes entirely. The result? Seamless acceleration with hybrid torque that could turn your insides to soup. And yet, even with three electric motors and a twin-turbo V8 under the hood, it somehow felt elegant, like the world's fastest grand piano. Of course, none of this would matter without the man behind it. Christian isn't your typical CEO, he's part inventor, part speed freak, part philosopher. He once said, but that doesn't mean it's reckless, there's always purpose behind the madness. He's obsessed with thermodynamics, power-to-weight ratios, and how to extract more energy from less fuel. He's also one of the few people who can sketch out an engine idea on a napkin and then watch it come alive six months later. Behind every Koenigsegg model is a years-long process of trial, failure, reinvention, and finally perfection. And once it hits perfection, they start again. Because in their world, good enough means nothing. It's why they handcraft components other manufacturers outsource. Why they invent their own carbon fiber technology. Why they build a 3D printer just to make titanium exhaust tips. Every shortcut avoided is a second shaved off the track. That mindset is what turned Koenigsegg from a boutique supercar maker into a name that makes Ferrari and Bugatti lose sleep. And while the industry is now charging headfirst into an electric future, Koenigsegg has remained cautious not reluctant, just methodical. Because Christian knows something that many don't. Speed alone doesn't win the war. Innovation does. The dark matter motor is proof of that. Small, efficient, brutally powerful, and designed to eliminate the need for multiple heavy motors altogether. The irony? While the rest of the auto world is spending billions to catch up with Tesla, Koenigsegg is already operating in a different dimension. Their motors aren't just efficient, they're integrated. Their hybrids don't just comply with regulations, they outperform everything around them. And Christian? He's not chasing trends, he's setting new ones. Still, there's something else brewing, something that hasn't been revealed yet. Insiders have reported strange test rigs, patents with abstract diagrams and quiet recruitment of energy specialists from outside the automotive world. There's a feeling inside the company, hard to pin down but impossible to ignore, that something big is coming. And it won't just be an update or a facelift, it'll be a challenge, a statement, maybe even a declaration of war against the idea that electric cars have already won. Something changed at Koenigsegg in 2025, after months of uncharacteristic silence, the kind that only ever means something big is brewing. Christian von Koenigsegg finally emerged, 
measured, calm, and, as always, precise. Sitting across from a small group of engineers and close partners, he leaned forward and said the words that would set the tone for everything that followed. What followed wasn't a teaser or a flashy concept. It was an engine, a brand new combustion engine. Not a modified V8, not a scaled-up TFG, and definitely not a placeholder for electrification. This was Koenigsegg's answer to a question no one else in the industry seemed brave enough to ask anymore. What if combustion still had more to give? They built it from scratch, compact, aggressive, and impossibly efficient. It runs on synthetic e-fuel, produces near zero emissions, and weighs less than any comparable power plant Koenigsegg has ever developed. The design is entirely new. Short stroke, high revving with quad turbos and a free-breathing valve system that responds in milliseconds to driver input. Every component was optimized for responsiveness, thermal efficiency, and power delivery. And the power figures? Let's just say this engine alone puts out numbers that most electric hypercars still struggle to reach even with dual motors. But it's not about raw output. It's about the feel, the way it pulls from idle, the balance it brings when paired with Koenigsegg's already cutting-edge electric drive systems. It doesn't replace the electric motor, it elevates it. The automotive world has spent the last decade convinced that electrification was the only path forward, a one-way street where combustion engines would fade into obsolescence. Preserved only in museums and the garages of nostalgic collectors, but Koenigsegg's latest move throws a wrench into that narrative. What if the future isn't a binary choice between electric and combustion, but a fusion of both, refined to a level no one saw coming? Christian von Koenigsegg's vision isn't about rejecting progress, it's about redefining it. While competitors rushed to cram bigger batteries into their chassis, his team focused on solving the inefficiencies that plagued traditional engines for decades. The result? A power plant that doesn't just coexist with electrification, it enhances it. Imagine a hybrid system where the combustion engine isn't a compromise but a catalyst, where synthetic fuels burn so cleanly that emissions regulations become an afterthought, and where the visceral thrill of a high-revving masterpiece isn't sacrificed at the altar of efficiency. This isn't just engineering, it's alchemy. Koenigsegg's engine doesn't merely meet the standards of the electric age, it sets them. The quad-turbo setup isn't for brute force alone, it's a symphony of precision ensuring instant response at any RPM. The lightweight construction isn't just about speed, it's about balance, ensuring the car dances through corners with the agility of a machine half its size. And the synthetic e-fuel? It's not a stopgap, it's a statement. Sustainability doesn't have to mean surrender. The implications are staggering. If Koenigsegg can scale this technology or even license it, the ripple effects could upend the industry. Suddenly, the death of the combustion engine headlines seem premature, Suddenly the idea of a zero-emission V8 isn't a paradox, and suddenly the electric hypercars that once seemed untouchable face a new rival, one that offers not just speed but soul. Yet for all the technical brilliance, the real magic lies in the philosophy behind it. Koenigsegg's approach has always been about questioning the why, not just the how. Why should performance cars lose their character in the name of progress? Why should efficiency come at the cost of excitement? In a world where cars are increasingly reduced to silent, homogenous pods, Koenigsegg's creations scream defiance. They're a reminder that the future of driving shouldn't be sterile, it should be sensational. So what's next? If history is any guide, Koenigsegg won't stop here. The patents, the cryptic test rigs, the whispers of energy specialists, it all points to something even bigger, lurking in the shadows. Maybe it's a full electric platform that shatters range anxiety. Maybe it's a combustion electric hybrid so seamless it renders the debate obsolete. Or maybe, just maybe, it's a machine so radical it forces the entire industry to hit pause and rethink everything. One thing's certain. While the world argues over which technology will dominate, Koenigsegg is already beyond the argument. They're not playing the game, they're rewriting the rules. And when the dust settles, we might just find that the future of performance wasn't electric or combustion. It was both. Perfected. Christian explained. We weren't interested in building a nostalgia piece. We wanted to create something that could outperform what's out there now, and lead where others are following. In 2025 it wasn't bravado. It was confidence backed by years of obsessive development. While other manufacturers leaned harder into batteries, Koenigsegg went back to first principles rethinking what an engine could be in a world obsessed with silent speed and synthetic thrills. The result isn't a rebellion, it's a revelation. 
This isn't the end of Koenigsegg's hybrid future, it's the foundation of it, an engine that brings the emotion back to performance, an engine that doesn't just survive the electric age but challenges it. And if Christian's right, it may have just redefined what comes next. So now the question is, if Koenigsegg just built a machine that outperforms every EV and keeps the soul of driving alive, is the electric revolution already outdated before it even peaked?